Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Application Gateway. In this scenario, we will look at how do we host multiple websites using Application Gateway. We would have a scenario wherein we have an application hosted or a multiple application hosted within Azure subscription and we'll see how do we protect those applications with the help of Azure Application Gateway. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you're watching Be A Learner. Let's understand the scenario here on the whiteboard. So we have an application in Azure subscription. There are multiple web application or web endpoint hosted on the Azure subscription, such as we have a web server hosted on the subscription, which is hosting a user interface for the web application. Then we have a couple of reporting services which are hosted on the multiple Windows based server. All these web server and the web application is connecting to the SQL server database to fetch the data. We have a clear requirement that we need to meet the security guideline. And one of the security requirement we have that none of the application exposed to the internet. Though these endpoints are not exposed or the public internet, but we do have a requirement to allow communication to these endpoints or the internet through one of the public IP address. And for that reason, we need to use a service which can allow a router traffic to this backend server. One of the other requirement we have that we would like to trace each and every request which is going to either of these servers. And we want to make sure that we do not have any kind of vulnerabilities with these requests such as pro-sql server injection cross-site scripting or any other kind of attacks basically and that's the reason we have configured a dedicated subnet here for the application gateway and we are hosting the application gateway inside this dedicated subnet so we, our application gateway would have a fr public front-end ip address and the user will route traffic from this public front end IP address to the application gateway and application gateway will forward the traffic to these backend pools based on the configuration which we will be providing to the application gateway. Now let's understand the configuration of the application gateway with this diagram which we will have for this application. So we would have a set of user who will be accessing the web application so let's say this is a web application user. This application user will be connecting to the web application or the front end IP address, which is the public IP address of the application gateway. So in this case, we would have a public IP address connected associated with the application gateway. Application gateway would have a listener for the web connect connection. So we would have a web listener and then the communication will go to the web listener. The listener will forward a traffic to the web rule. So we would have a rule called the web rule so that any traffic which is coming to this web listener will forward the traffic to the web rule. And web rule would use the HTTP settings, which is the web HTTP setting, which we are calling a web WH. This HTTP settings will be used to connect to the backend server, which in this case, a web application. So this is what the flow we need to design. So in this case, the front end IP, which it will use to connect, it will connect over port number 808080, for example, or 8081. So the IP address colon 8081, then it will route the traffic to web application. And now similarly, we would have some reporting user. Let me use a different color pane for this demonstration. So here in this case, we would have a user of the reporting type. So we will have a user reporting and then they are going to use the URL, which is a public IP address. But at this time, they will use the traffic on the port number 8082, for example, and it will forward the traffic to the same front end IP address with the different port. And with this port, we have a listener rule, which is listening the traffic on this particular rule. This listener will forward a traffic to the 
reporting rule. So we would have a dedicated rule called the reporting rule. And this reporting rule will use the HTTP setting. So we would have a HTTP setting called the reporting HTTP setting RH. And this reporting HTTP setting will use to communicate to the backend server. So in this case, the communication will be routed to the virtual machine. So what we are saying here, so what we are saying here, if the traffic is coming from HTTP 8081, then route display the result of web server or the web UI, web application. If the traffic is coming from HTTP 8082, then display the result of the Windows based server. So this is what we are going to configure now in the application gateway. In the Azure portal, we have the resources already configured. We have a web application hosted with a default configuration. We have application gateway configured as in WAF enabled, which is WAF V2 type. Then we have a set of virtual machine. In this case, we have two virtual machines and these virtual machines are hosted on a private IP address, basically machine. You can see that we just have the private IP address. There is no public IP address with these. Okay. Similarly, the web application, we have configured a networking so that it's only allowing the communication from the dedicated subnet, which in this case, a uh, gateway subnet. It means that we have a virtual network configured and this virtual network has the setup like so we, we have a virtual network with these subnets. If you look at here, these this is the virtual network where we have a gateway subnet, data subnet and a web subnet, which we are using it. If you look at the address, the connected device, we have these two virtual machine and application gateway at the moment. This is the application gateway configuration we have. With this application gateway configuration, there is a auto scale enabled. We have the WAF enabled with the prevention mod. And at the moment we have the default backend pool. There is no target assigned to that. We have a default HTTP setting which we have created at the time of creation of this application gateway. We have this IP address which we are going to use to communicate to either of the backend. This is the listener which we have at the moment default listener. We are not going to use the, and we have a default rule. So now let's configure the setup which we have discussed on the board. First of all, I'm going to create a backend pool. So we would require a two backend pool, a web backend and web backend will use the web service or the website. So that's the reason I'm using the target type as an app, app service. I'll use the web app, add the backend. Simil Similarly, I will create another backend called the reporting backend. This time I'll target it to virtual machines. I'll select both the virtual machine so that it will share the load. So it will perform the load balancing on either of these virtual machines to display the reporting data. So our backend pools are ready now. The web has one target and reporting has two. Let's configure a listener now. So we would first configure the web listener. Web listener will receive the traffic from the public front end IP address of the application gateway on the port number 8081, which we have mentioned on the protocol HTTP. If you use the HTTPS, we need to upload the certificate, either a valid CA certificate or the self-signed certificate. As of now, we'll say it will receive a traffic on this port and it's a basic port type. I'll leave it as is. Similarly, we will use a reporting listener. It will also receive a traffic from the web front end IP address. And this time it will use the port number 8082 as we have mentioned in the description. Now let's create the HTTP setting. So we'll create a HTTP setting for web HTTP setting. We know that our web app is hosted as in Microsoft app service and app service usually hosted on the HTTPS protocol with the default Azure 
certificate as you can see that this is the web app which we have at the moment it's not running or it's not connecting over the public that's what our requirement is because we are only allowing communication from a specific subnet there's no public connection allowed that's the reason we have the 403 error but if you look at the protocol we are using https and then we are using 443 port and we have it as your certificate so now here we need to, we can't use the protocol as in http we need to use the https it means the backend port will automatically switch to 443 once we have switched to the https this application gateway is asking to upload a certificate if your application is using the customer provided certificate or their own certificate custom domain certificate then you need to provide those certificate in order to make a communication to the backend request our backend server but in our case our application is using microsoft certified microsoft hosted certificate which is already certified as in well-known ca certificate so i'm going to use this option and as soon as you change it to this option you don't need to apply any certificate so if your application is using a well-known ca certificate then you can use this option and as your application gateway will automatically validate your ssl certificate here we need to specify the domain host name and we would like to use the domain host name from the backend because in the backend when we define the backend we have defined the backend with the app service type and app service type we have chosen the app service of a specific type that's the reason i can choose this so when this listener will try to set up a connection to the backend server it will use the backend name from the backend configuration which we have provided so if i save it here and then I'll, I'll go back i'll show you what do i mean here so here in this case if you look at this is going to be in the backend app services dot azure websites.net and then it uses this name to connect to the backend server similarly we will create the reporting services reporting http service this time we are not going to use https because the communication which we have allowed in the vm because our reports are hosted in the vm and we are allowing communication to those vms on port number 80 so that's okay we will leave this communication as is even though if you look if you remember our communication from the front end is allowing it from the port 08 8081 and 8082 but still we are here we are connecting on port 80 and 80 and 443 so that's that's how we can do that okay and at this time i'm not using any overwrite name because this time it will pick up automatically from the backend pool to route the traffic as it's acting as in the load balancer okay so http settings is completed listener is completed backend pool is completed and now we need to define a bridge which is a rule for the application gateway so let's say web rule for the web application here i'll use the as it is the web rules i'll use the web listener similarly as this is a web rule i'll use the backend as a web backend and if as i'll also use the web http settings at the moment we are not using any path based routing we'll have a different demonstration to explain the path based routing so for now i'll say add that will add a new routing rule similarly i will add the reporting rule this is my reporting rule i'll choose the reporting listener and then you can choose the reporting backend and then you can specify the reporting http setting for this case i'll say add okay the changes are saved successfully so now to test this we have this application gateway configured on the public ip address and this is the public ip address of the application gateway so what we can do now if we browse on this particular ip address or this particular port which is port number 8081 for the web application so here it is if it is port 8081 then web server ui this is what it's going to be if it is port 8082 then this blue color path it will use and it will use and redirect to the web server so now let's try and use a different poll 
this time I'll use the 8082 so you can see that it's it has sent the traffic to virtual machine 2 and if I refresh it possibly it will go to virtual machine 1 as you can see this time a request has been sent to the virtual machine 2 and 1 subsequently so this is basically acting as a load balancer so depending on the request it was it is sending a request to a different virtual machine so just acting as a load balancer and still based on the different routing path or routing uh, listener configuration uh, with the same public IP address but with the different port we are able to route traffic to the different backend applications and this was our original objective and still if you look at this web application I'm still not able to browse it and this is what our objective was similarly anyways our windows machines are basically on the private IP address so anyways I won't be able to access it, those machines from the browser because private IP address won't be able to access all the internet right this was the demonstration which explains that how do we configure the application gateway to serve different web applications or different backend services with the help of same application gateway configuration I hope you have found this useful if it is please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video